Washington will actually have two countries rooting for them in the pair event. The Americans, of course, but also the Japanese. Kiyoko's grandmother and her cousins live here, and they're making a special trip to watch her skate for the first time since Kiyoko was a teenager. Here's Chris Schenkel with more on this team, who know exactly where they came from and where they're going. Just quiet. The only time you can really find out who you are is when you sit down with nothing. Nobody. You just think. You, know, you look at yourself and, and you find out who you are. It is only here, home in northern Michigan, that Jason Dungeon finds his peace of mind. And it is only here, in New York City, that his partner, Kyoko Ina, finds hers. The city is great! I love this place. It's so peaceful with all this noise. I can't stand, like, birds chirping in my ear in the morning. Sirens and, and car alarms and chucks. It's great! It's home! They come from different worlds, and they are very different people. But Kyoko Ina and Jason Dungeon found each other at a similar time, when each was at a crossroads. From the time Jason was 11, he was skating with his younger sister, Susan. Together, they became part of a household dream, to make an Olympic Games a family affair. My dad, um, you know, he, he pretty much, uh, he was one of our biggest supporters. He never pushed. He never said, you have to do this. Uh, he just always told me, just remember, I, you know, you and I both have a large investment in this. His monetary, of course. Mine, mine time, but, uh, you know, yeah, that was a big influence on my skating. When Jason was 18 years old, his father died suddenly, and so did the family dream. Traumatized and overwhelmed, Jason and Susan lost their will to skate. They hung up their blades and began new lives. Jason enrolled in school, believing his fate was no longer on the ice. The year was 1986, the same year that halfway around the world, a young Japanese-American girl named Kyoko Ina was experiencing a transition of her own by relinquishing her Japanese status as Japan's junior national champion and qualifying to skate for the United States. After all, she is a New Yorker. I was born in Japan. My roots are from Japan, but I was raised in the United States. When I was about 10 or 11, my parents thought that in tradition of my family, that it would be nice for if I represented Japan. Kyoko Ina comes from a long line of world-class athletes. Her grandfather ran long distance at the 1924 Olympic Games. Her uncle made Japan's national gymnastics team. And her mother swam her way to the title of Asian Games champion in the early 1950s. So I went to Japan and I competed for them for about two years. And I felt so out of place because I wasn't raised there. I didn't know the culture very much, and I didn't know the ways of etiquette, so to say. So it came to a point in my career where I said, either I skate and represent a country that I was raised in, or I'm not going to compete anymore. The name Kyoko means polite in Japanese. Politely, Kyoko not only switched her national allegiance, but also her discipline in sport. In 1989, after becoming the United States Junior National Champion, somehow she still felt alone on the ice. And she began to look for a partner, soon to find Jason Dungeon, who was also looking to start over. Life just wasn't the same without skating, and he knew it was time to heal. I just had unfinished business, and I wanted to prove to myself and, uh, you know, show my mom that it wasn't, uh, it wasn't a waste of time and that uh, I think when I um, made the Olympic team, you know, to me it was uh, you know, a way to thank my father for uh, all the support he gave us through the years. Kyoko has helped Jason put a finishing on what his family began. And to help him prepare for Nagano, she shares a bit of her own heritage. This is what you'll be eating. Mm -hmm. 
Most teams are are so alike. I think a lot of it for us is that opposite. There's something on the ice about us that makes you watch us, and uh, I think it's from being so different and so opposite. Very different people from very different worlds. Yet for both Jason and Kyoko, the road to Nagano has been paved with lineage, and has become a tribute to whom they once were, and to whom they have become.